Mudena reports truant ministers to Uningagwa. The Speaker of the National Assembly, Jacob Mudenda, has taken decisive action against several ministers for their persistent absenteeism, which has been disrupting parliamentary proceedings. Mudenda has formally reported the offending ministers to President Emerson Uningagwa, highlighting the impact of their habitual truancy on the legislative process. Mudenda's decision comes after numerous instances where ministers fail to attend parliamentary sessions, thereby stalling crucial legislative business. In a statement, Mudenda expressed his frustration over the minister's lack of commitment and accountability. The continuous absence of ministers from parliamentary sessions is unacceptable and hampers the effective functioning of our legislative duties, he said. The Speaker's report to President Mningagwa underscores the severity of the issue. Mudenda emphasized the importance of ministerial presence in Parliament for responding to questions, participating in debates, and ensuring that government policies are effectively communicated and scrutinized. It is imperative that ministers fulfill their parliamentary responsibilities to maintain the integrity and efficiency of our legislative process, Mudenda added. The habitual truancy of these ministers has sparked criticism from various quarters, with opposition members and civil society groups calling for greater accountability. They argue that the minister's absences undermine the democratic process and deny legislators the opportunity to hold the executive accountable. In response to Mudenda's report, President Umningogwa has promised to address the issue promptly. Sources close to the presidency indicate that Umningogwa is considering strict measures to ensure ministers attend parliamentary sessions regularly. The president is committed to ensuring that all government officials adhere to their duties and will take necessary actions to rectify this issue, said a senior official. The ministers in question have not yet publicly responded to the accusations. However, Mudenda's move has set a precedent for enforcing parliamentary discipline and could lead to a broader discussion on the expectations and responsibilities of government officials. This development highlights the ongoing challenges within Zimbabwe's political landscape, particularly in terms of governance and accountability. As the situation unfolds, it remains to be seen what specific actions President Mningogwa will take to address the absenteeism and restore the effective functioning of the National Assembly. The issue of ministerial truancy is not new in Zimbabwean politics, but Mudenda's firm stance may signal a shift towards greater accountability and efficiency in government operations. Observers are hopeful that this intervention will lead to improved attendance and participation by ministers, thereby enhancing the overall effectiveness of parliamentary proceedings. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.